I'm a shift gears. I'm with Banerjee, Chairman and Managing Director of BML joins us. Now that's a stock or that's one space where action right now is obviously uh, quite palpable, whether it's the re-rating in the PSU banking space or uh, the re-rating in the defense stroke, the entire railway ancillary space. Uh, good morning, Mr. Banerjee. What is the update on the demerger process and what kind of value unlocking can we expect from shareholders now? Uh, the demerger, it has already happened. Now, uh, the shares has been already given to the shareholders of BML and uh, it's going to be listed shortly, possibly by another month. All the documents and all have been supplied to the stock exchanges and uh, shortly it's going to be listed. So for the benefit of shareholders, walk us through the total area, location of the land parcels, uh, land parcels for BML and what really could be the value? Uh, see, it's uh, one land parcel is there in Bangalore. Uh, that's about 125 acres. And uh, then uh, you've got a land parcel in Mysore, about 400 acres. These are the two major land parcels. The other, uh, we have got various guest houses and all various buildings are there across the country. That's a small part of it. Are you also seeing stable growth outlook across segments? And uh, what kind of growth potential are you seeing then in the medium term? And what could be the drivers next? See, uh, last two years, uh, we, have, uh, we have grown by almost more than 15% each year, every year, year on year. And uh, this year also, we had planned for a growth of 15%, but uh, let us see how far we reach. Because uh, uh, there are uh, things like uh, uh, Metro, the coaches, it should be taken by the Metro corporations and all. Uh, so uh, we are quite hopeful of a growth of 15%. Right. You know, you've reiterated that the medium term revenue target is uh, currently at 6,000 crore rupees. Are you on track with all the growth drivers in place currently to achieve this number? See, uh, if I take around 15%, uh, somewhere uh, above uh, 4,500, that was our, as is our plan. And uh, 6,000 crores, that will take some time. Maybe we will be crossing 5,000 next year, next financial year. After that, we'll uh, think about 6,000 crores. Good morning, Mr. Banerjee. You know, if you were to see the order inflow that has been reported in the second quarter, it's a 90% jump coming in at 511 crores. What's the existing order backlog? And uh, can you share with our viewers, your shareholders, the analyst community, what the target is for the order book? Presently, we, as of end uh, September, we were having, having an order book of around 8,800 crores. That is after the first half. And uh, as I mentioned earlier also, by the end of this financial year, we plan to take the order book to beyond 12,000 crores. Okay, so you're going to take it beyond 12,000 crore rupees. That is the target by Mr. Banerjee. Will the order inflow momentum in the near term? Do you see it remaining intact? I ask you this because you are a disinvestment candidate. We do know that, you know, the, uh, the land demerge has to take place IPO first. But is any of this going to impact the company? And the second thing the markets are watching out for so closely, the massive Vande Bharat uh, uh, train tender, when is it likely to be finalized? See, uh, we have already participated in the Vande Bharat tenders. Uh, so that's almost uh, 50,000 crores plus for the 200 train sets. Uh, so we are quite hopeful of uh, getting that order. At least uh, like L1 gets 120 train sets, L2 gets 80 train sets. So we are keeping our fingers crossed and uh, hoping that uh, we will become either L1 or L2 at least. Uh, and uh, they say that in another uh, months to 45 days time, they want to finalize it. So let us wait and see. It's going on. Evaluation is going on in full swing, I understand. And uh, other than that, other metro uh, tenders are also due. Like the Bangalore Metro, we have already participated in one tender for 72 cars. Another tender has come out for 318 cars. So... Uh, this this will be a big thing for us because so far all the Bangalore Metro cars has been supplied by BML only. All the 342 cars, it's uh, manufactured and supplied from BML. 
and uh, uh, other than that other tenders metro tenders are also coming up the patna metro is there uh, plus extension of other metros and all mumbai metro line 4 is also coming up so uh, the next 4 to 5 years uh, there will be a requirement of at least another uh, 2000 metro cars which uh, to the tune of uh, 19000 to 20000 crores order book that is uh, so when can we see a further improvement in your operational performance? What is the strategy to improve your margins then? See, uh, last year, uh, uh, our uh, EBITDA has, uh, had crossed, it was more than 7%, around 7.7% uh, .7 and all. So uh, our first step is to take it to the double-digit mark. And uh, that, uh, that plan is there in this financial year itself. Let us see how it progresses because uh, the input material costs, uh, which didn't affect us much earlier, uh, slowly we are feeling the pinch of it. Though things are stabilizing slowly, uh, we hope to cut uh, corners, other corners and all, and uh, maintain a healthy margin level this financial year. Used to 630 crores from 830 crores. What are the further debt reduction plans? Uh, see, it has, yes, it has reduced. Uh, the collection has improved a lot. Uh, and uh, further uh, in the coming months also, collection is going to improve. Uh, our plan is to bring down the debtors to the below the 500 uh, crore mark. And uh, margins, yes. Uh, see, uh, we are executing quite a lot of uh, defense orders. So uh, good margins are there in that, in the defense orders. And uh, mining and construction also in the space and service business, the margins are there. Uh, in addition to uh, the rail orders we are executing, uh, we have got an additional order of uh, 88 cars of uh, memo. And uh, already we are executing a, a rail grinding machine order along with the lorem of USA. So uh, the first few rakes are going to roll out this financial year. So that's uh, something new which we are doing in the country. It's for the first time uh, the rail grinding machine is being built in the country. Okay, Mr. Banerjee, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, BEML, the hot stocks of uh, 2022, what the markets are watching out for, disinvestment. Uh, the first up will be the demerger and the listing of the non coal land assets and uh, BML talking proudly about having seen an order inflow of 12,000 crores as a big target uh, is expected to win that massive Vande Bharat uh, tender order as well.